Well, I've decided to begin um, resealing the engine, so I'm in the process of tearing down the relevant components to replace seals. So today I'm going to remove this timing chest cover, the inner cover, and have a look inside, see how that chain looks. Uh, so let's get started. The gasket came off with the uh, outer cover, the inner cover. So crankshaft seal and camshaft seal will get replaced. In addition to the speedometer drive seal. Well, that rubbing block doesn't look badly worn at all, so I think I'm going to leave that alone. Oh, yeah, chain feels good. I don't think I'll replace the chain either. This bike only has 30,000 miles on it, so I'm going to save the expense on this go around and leave all that stuff alone. I've already pulled the oil pan and uh, removed the sump. up the gasket uh, surfaces. So uh, I think the next thing is going to be to remove the clutch and inspect that. I'm going to replace the rear main seal and the oil pump o-ring as well. So I'm going to uh, turn the engine over and uh, pull that friction disc and inspect it. Okay, we're going to see if these won't just snap loose. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, take three of these out and then put the longer uh, clutch release bolts in it. We'll just loosen them all up right now. Okay. We'll pull three of these guys out of here.
it's not jammed up, I would expect after uh, this bike sitting for since 1984 that this clutch would have been um, rusted onto its locating pins. The uh, cover plate's coming off just fine. on the uh, contact area where the fingers on the pressure plate contact this, uh, the pressure plate. Well, this clutch disc is about third of the way gone, so about two-thirds of it left. I'm uh, measuring about almost uh, 200 thou of uh, thickness there and 175, thou is the minimum overall thickness. So I'm going to go ahead and reuse this disc. I'm going to probably pull the gearbox out after I run the bike for a while anyway and uh, I'll replace the uh, disc at that time. But uh, right now I just want to get the engine sealed up, cleaned up, sealed up, and then reinstalled and run it. And then I'll take care of any um, mechanical deficiencies uh, once uh, I have the bike running and uh, I've established what those deficiencies are. But the gearbox will probably come, by, come back out um, at some point if for spline uh, service at any rate and at that time I can replace this disc. It's got plenty of life left. So um, next step is to remove that flywheel and clean, uh, clean that up. I'll block the uh, crankshaft and then um, pull the flywheel, get it cleaned up, and uh, replace that rear main seal and the oil pump cover seal.